Hello again, YouTube world. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, kind of like I promised in the past, gonna get this truck back in front of the camera. Whew, a little bright out there. All right, so I'm going to start working on the brakes again. Uh, we'll finish up what I need to do. Uh, I've got brand new brake booster here and a brand new master cylinder and I got to call in reinforcements because this pretty much need to take that hood off and get it out of my way because I got to get into the four bolts I'm not too sure if you can see that or not but I got to get in to the four bolts to get that thing off and it's kind of awkward it's like I need this space right here because I can get to the bolts a little bit here but I really need to be like kind of right here so that way I can get the rest of it off and everything so uh, gotta get the hood off of here and probably just set it over here or something and uh, that way you know clear up some space here and I'll be able to have a lot better room to work one thing that I kind of can't really film is up in here all right so you got the little pin that goes through uh the little pin that's on here that goes through the hole in uh i don't know what you want to call that the shaft or whatever that goes out to the booster i can barely get in here myself as you can see it's you know it's quite tiny if you have one of these trucks you know that there's just not that much space in here so uh it was hard enough for me to get in here to get this pin out and these bushings or whatever which I am fortunate the bushing it really it only looks just kind of dirty so it actually looks to be in pretty good shape so fortunately I'll be able to reuse that but uh, so I didn't get that on film but that is like literally like the first thing pretty much you want to do I'm assuming because remember I've never done this before on these trucks so this is gonna be a first but I mean everything seems to be simple so a lot easier than working on a Honda indeed <laughs> after a little bit of trouble finally got the uh, the booster and the master cylinder off and I do believe pretty sure that was all factory and if you notice the rod that goes through the firewall that goes to the pedal of course I didn't realize it until I got into this it was a good thing I took that apart on the inside because I had to pull the whole thing out because the pin that goes for the brake booster the shaft for the brake booster is completely seized up so I'm gonna have a hard time getting that apart so it's a good thing uh, I actually took that apart on the inside but have a look at that heap my goodness but this pin right here I don't know if it's welded here and not supposed to come apart because I honestly don't know because I've never worked on this thing before well on one of these so I'm gonna have to try to maybe pry that apart or something to get that out of there because obviously we got to put this back in so I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna take that apart and get that on to the new master cylinder and then we're gonna put it all back together turns out that pin up top is not welded in it just needed a BFH uh, get the thing out of there but ah, and look two different sizes but anyways all right so next thing to do is just I'm gonna clean everything up uh, take a wire brush to all this stuff kind of clean it up that's the pen that goes in the center there a couple little bushings on the side clean this up a little bit and of course I got all new Carter pins and uh, everything so get all that cleaned up Get it mounted to here and uh, then we'll be putting it back in. Brake booster is in. Just got to put the master cylinder on here and do a little bit of bleeding. I was planning on taking the hood off but the one bolt on that side it kind of felt like it was going to break and I'm not sure how to replace whatever is inside the hood to rebolt the hood on. So I decided to not take the hood off which has been a total pain in the ass because the hood is in the way in every single possible way imaginable to do this job the hood is in the damn way <laughs> so because it just you know I'm six foot tall and trying to put me in a two foot spot right here and I'm all scrunched up trying to get in there 
versus then going back here it is kind of a pain but I managed to get the uh, the booster back on master cylinder is on everything looks pretty good everything went together pretty good now just gonna do a little bit of bleeding um, I prefer to do it on the truck versus bench bleeding uh, simply because when you bench bleed if you have a vise on a work table or something much easier well I don't have a vise I'd simply have to be holding it between my knees or something and that's just stupid so we're gonna do we're gonna use the truck we'll let the truck hold it for me and we'll be good to roll so I have to get inside and reconnect the rod to the uh, pedal and uh, hook my brake light switch back up and all that good stuff and then uh, get to bleeding I am starting to believe that if there is ever a person that is one in a million or there is one in a million chances of getting a bad part it's always me it seems to always be me this contraption does not work like obviously I can't bench bleed but if you put it on the truck to my knowledge, you know, it pushes the uh, the piston in exactly the same as you would on a bench anyways, but you're using the pedal, so it's a lot easier for you to do. Uh, and I ran the hoses the way, or the little clear lines like you're supposed to, and it does not work. Like, it's not working. So, I put the lines, I hooked those lines back up to it and start it up maybe it's because it needs some vacuum on the booster or something I don't know because as I said before this is the first time doing this I have no idea what I'm doing like I've never done this stuff before I'm like learning as I go and I'm failing miserably it is not working so I have no brakes I have no help YouTube is not helping me Google is not helping me uh, the bench bleed instructions that come with it are not helping me because I've done everything that I've seen on video, on Google, uh, the paperwork that comes with that. And I have no idea. The only thing I can figure is the damn thing is bad or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess that's it for today. I'm just going to have to pick it up another day. I'm going to have to go down tomorrow, get another one, and then tomorrow night just come back in here and try again, I guess.